Hello everyone. Solving quadratic inequality. Quadratic inequality ax squared plus bx plus c less than zero or maybe bigger than zero. And the a is not equal to zero. I want to find the intervals or, or values of x that makes this expression or this function less than zero or negative, bigger than zero or positive. To understand this idea, I'd like to show you some properties about quadratic function. First of all, some quadratic function, when you draw it, you find the curve completely lies above x-axis. This is x-axis, the curve here above x-axis. The curve above x-axis means this function is positive for every x belongs to r. The curve lies completely above x-axis. Each point of the curve is corresponding to a positive part of x-axis, of y-axis. The y-axis represented the value of the function or the value of this expression, ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? If the function, the curve of the function lies down x-axis like this one, the curve here or the function here is negative for all values of x. f is negative because the curve lies down x-axis or corresponding to the negative part of the y-axis, okay? But sometimes we have a function Part of it above, above x-axis, this line, and this line. Another part lies down x-axis, like this part. This function now has value of 0 at negative 1 and 2. f equals 0 at x negative 1 and 2, the points of intersection of the curve with x-axis. Okay? And f is positive at 2 infinity, neg union negative infinity and negative 1. This is a positive part of the function. This corresponding to this part on the number line. So the function is positive in this part. And also here, positive here also. Okay? The function now in negative. This curve or part of the curve lies down x-axis. It's a negative value. So the function here, this is sine of f. The sign positive here, negative here. Okay? So the function is positive in the interval 2 and infinity union, negative infinity and negative 1, and the negative in the interval negative 1 to 2. So the function now has three signs, 0 and positive and negative. L let me start now solve the inequality, and we will apply these ideas now. To solve the quadratic inequality now, you will. Factorize this one and they make it equal zero. Convert this sign smaller than to be equal zero, okay? X squared is X times X. Three is three times one, negative and negative. So X minus three is equal to zero or X minus one is equal to zero. X equals three or X equals one, okay? Draw a line, make three here. And one to the left, always a smaller number left, the bigger number to the right. The curve, when you uh, draw the function, will be like this, parabola. I want the function be negative. Negative, as I told you here, in between the roots. Always the function is negative here, because this part is down x-axis. So, solution now, x belongs to the interval 1 and 3. This means the function, this function, smaller than 0 or negative, in this interval. Okay? Another one. X squared plus 2x minus 15 bigger than or equal 0. Factorize and make it equal 0. X squared x and x. 15 is uh, 3 times 5. 15 is negative. Make it negative and positive. Such as that the middle term is 3x minus 5. X is a 2. No, I'm sorry. I want a 2 is positive. This is positive. This is negative. To make it 2x and a middle term. So x minus 3 is equal to 0. Or x plus 5 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3 or x equal negative 5. Draw a line, negative 5 to the left. Make it closed circle because there is equal sign here with the bigger than. So it's a solid circle. Uh, the negative 5 to the left is the 3 bigger to the right. I want this function is positive. The function is positive here in this interval, outside here and outside here. Okay? So, very easy. X 
Uh, you can write as interval. I, I write here the answer in an in interval form. You can write as inequality, no problem. You can read this one. This is x bigger than 3, all real number bigger than or equal 3, or x less than or equal negative 5. You can write the solution as um, um, inequality or interval like the previous one. Okay? Continue. Solve 2x squared plus 15x bigger than or equal negative 7. Bring a negative 7 here in the left or add 7 to each side. To make to arrange the formula to the, the inequality 2x squared plus 15x plus 7 bigger than negative 7 plus 7 0 okay factorize and they make it equal 0 to find the roots 2x times x 7 is only 1 times 7 I want them 15 2 times 2x times 7 14 plus 1 15 all positive now so 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 x equal negative half or x plus 7 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 7. So I have two values, negative 7 and negative half. Draw a line, negative 7 to the left, closed circle. We always do closed circle when you have bigger than or equal. Okay? And solid circle, negative half. I want the function bigger than 0. Look at this one. I want this function bigger than 0. As I told you, bigger than 0 in the extreme parts here, the outer parts of the interval. Okay, the function in here is negative. Okay? So x bigger than negative half or x smaller than negative 7. This line means all real numbers less than negative 7 and this interval means all real numbers bigger than negative half. Very easy. Don't forget to write equal here. Okay? Because the inequality is bigger than or equal. Last one. x squared less than. Arrange the function and they bring this to the left hand side x squared minus 8x plus 16, smaller than 0. Factorize, it seems it will be a complete square. x times x, 16 is 4 times 4. Okay? I work at the middle term in negative 8, so make it negative and negative. It's the sum now, negative 4x minus 4x, negative 8x. Or the same, a binomial, x minus 4 repeated, so x minus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 4. When you solve the quadratic function equals zero and you get only one root, this means the curve intersect the x-axis or touch the x-axis at the point four and uh, go, uh, go up again, okay? This function now, all positive, lies above x-axis. Only this point, the function is zero in this point. I want the function be less than zero. The function here never be less than zero. Less than zero when you draw it here, down x-axis. Okay? So, solution here is not exist, or no solution. You can write no solution because the function is positive or minimum value is negative. Cannot be less than zero or cannot be uh, negative value. Thank you so much. These are four questions to deal with solving inequality, quadratic inequality. I hope everyone took a good idea. Thank you so much and see you next time in the next video. Goodbye.